Quiero decir gracias a todos, gracias por venir hoy para celebrar música. We're here tonight to celebrate songwriters, composers in film and television and video games. I'm extremely honored to see this award. Thank you, ASCAP. In the name of our female composer hero, superhero, Shirley Walker. How about a hand? Woo! Shirley scored over 20 films. She was an amazing musician and composer and, and an inspiration and still remains an inspiration to many female composers because what she did, she did it as a lone ranger. She did it without the alliance for women film composers, without women in film. She was just in the trenches working with Hans, working with Danny, and behind the scenes and then later out in front. But I think in her time, she maybe didn't get the recognition she deserved. So I just want to give that thanks back to her, wherever she may be in the stars or mountains. She might be happy that her voice continues through the work of so many female composers. We need more heroes like her. I'd like to thank ASCAP, especially Jen Harmon, who suggested me for this award. Woo! And then the rest of the gang, Sean, Ramon, Mike, Todd, Amanda, Paul, Rachel, Loretta, Jeannie, Queens, who was the first representative from ASCAP that I ever met. And I'd like to, to thank my friends from far away, Simon Greenaway, Roger Greenaway and the entire ASCAP family. Because I feel that this is a family. I did always feel that whenever I would connect with Mike on the phone, talking about all the things about prepping for John, I always felt that there was a human touch in terms of that people cared about, about the music. And that to me was, says a lot. When someone actually listens to your music and they care about it and they want to help you. And I have received that help from ASCAP. And I'm very thankful. So I'd just like to say also that there are many people who are part of this path who helped me get here. And I think the first one, obviously, is my mother, Alicia Franco, who was a you know Mexican woman, and she was you know living in El Paso, and she saw that I loved music, and she drove me to all the lessons. <laughs> Another person who's very influential in me being up here is my brother, artist, extraordinaire, Michael Petri. He's a dear friend of John Powell's, and they used to do some crazy performance art <laughs> years ago. And, and John was always a name that I heard. It was, oh, you got my brother saying, oh, you've got to meet John, and you've got to meet Gavin. They're just so amazing. And so one day I did. And I was so impressed with John Powell. So it's this legacy, my mother, my brother, and then John. And what an amazing being he is. I would not be here, I know that, without John Powell. allowed me to, to express myself as a musician. And I watched you, I, we spent so many nights making crazy sounds. <laughs> I think my favorite was when he sent me to buy dog and cat toys <laughs> for robots. And I, I looked like a crazy woman, like banging them all, trying to see different tones. And then we brought them back, we took them all apart, and we created samples. I mean, that was his thing. He's, he's such a true maverick that he taught me to make sounds. And I loved watching him. I, watched, I was pregnant for Happy Feet. And so I you know, went through all the sessions with Edie and all the singers. And I learned how to make 
music for film by being by his side. And he never once said, you can't do this. He always just had me next to him and gave me things. He challenged me, he pushed me. And had I not had that, I wouldn't be here. So through him, I have met an incredible team. And I'm going to be briefly say their names because I just don't want to leave people out. So people I've worked alongside through working with John, Han Zimmer, um, Gustavo Santolaya, um, Randy Newman, John Debney, Michael Giacchino, Lauren Balfe. I met all of these people through my connections with John. And then, of course, the beautiful and amazing Laura Engel, Craft Engel Management. Thank you so much. Richard, Jonathan, Sarah, Jeff, Bobby, and of course you, Brad, who always make sure the contracts are just right. <laughs> and then I wouldn't be here without my musician friends. They're, to me, tonight's most amazing thing is having a group of musicians you've played with so many years. Most and first foremost is Federico Ramos, the guitarist on all the Coco songs. He was on my first film score day. Booker White, Dave Julie, Mark Brown, you tell me thank you. And my teachers, Emil Richards, Luis Conte, John Ashton Thomas, Buster Bailey from the New York Film. And my production team, James, Alvin, Leah, Alan, Soya, thank you so much. Groups for women, women in film, Tracy, Christine, Loretta, Kalu. Women in media, Tema, America, uh, Alliance for Women Film Composers, Laura, Lolita, Miriam, and the Sundance Institute, Peter and Tabitha. And the last will be the studios, of course, Erin. <laughs> What a lovely soul. She's beautiful. She gave me my first studio film. And Jeff, thank you for having me. I, I just love working with you. The great team, Louie and Dan and Kim. And thank you, the producers, Richard and Dave. A few more. Coco, we've got Tom McDougall, Andrew Page, Darla Anderson, Adrian Molina. Thank you so much for all your kind words and Lee Unkert, and we've got Anthony Gonzalez, the boy who sings all the songs performing. <laughs> Last, we have Universal Studios, and there's a Kung Fu Panda ride opening, so come on down. It's called Emperor's Quest, and it's opening in a few weeks. Karen Foster and Sonny Park, Charlene, they called me up when I left John's studio and said, we know you left John, we're going to find some work for you. They kept me going. Lionsgate, Nikki Triplett, and Danny Lee. And I have to thank Sony, Raul Perez, gave me my first job writing for a Hollywood film, Source Music, for Thunder. And last but not least, Vida. Have you seen those new shots of Vida all over? It's a new TV show. For Latin women, people of color, LGBT, the whole entire creative room was just bouncing with ideas. Happy to be a part of it. And my last thank you is to my beautiful son, Mateo. <laughs> You and my belly while I was working on Happy Feet with John. <laughs> so, to all the female composers out there, to all of the people of color, to all of the room, we're all one community. Let's not be divided by the, the, the titles. Let's just create music together. Create love and hope and joy, because we know the line between our life and the next chapter is very fine. So instead of building the barriers, let's just break them down. And I like to do that with music, and I hope you'll join me. Thank you, Adam.